Hey everybody, I hope that y'all are having a five, four, three, two, one. Hey everybody, and thanks for joining me for today's art lesson. The theme is hope in God's word. And as Christians, whenever we have any sort of issue, whether it is despair, anger, pain, whatever answer, we are seeking, we are to turn to God's word. So we're gonna look at some Bible verses that we can incorporate with our lesson today. I think it would be great if you could do this as a family and contribute um, some discussion to today's topic and what hope means to you and what are some things that you hope for, for not only yourself, but for your family and your children. So I think it would be great if you could get everybody to sit down and participate in this exercise. So everyone that has a canvas, it should look similar to this. If you do not have a canvas, all you have to do is draw a squiggly line and a straight line about a quarter of the way up your canvas. So hope is defined as a feeling of expectation and desire for a certain thing to happen. So I know in our nation right now that we're all hopeful for many things. The past several months have been um, very draining and challenging and the, fast, the past few weeks have as well. And I know it's created a lot of anxiety um, fear, anger, hurt, frustration. So coming together as Christians and as families is very important um, in times like this. So one of the verses that I do want to hit on with you is in Romans chapter 130 verse 5. I wait for the Lord, my whole being waits, and in his word I put my hope. So again, when we seek answers, when we hope for anything, we need to look to God's word first. And the second verse that I wanted to hit on with everybody is Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. So by turning to God's word and seeking his word, we will find hope there and we will renew our strength, especially if we surround ourselves with like-minded people that are also engrossed in God's word. So that's the inspiration for our first art assignment here. What I would like for you to do as a family is write some of the emotions that you have been feeling that are negative lately. So some of you, I'm sure we said, are feeling anxiety. And write these with a Sharpie. And I would just pass around, discuss with everybody. You can stop this at any time to have discussions with your family. What are some of the things that you are feeling? And your children's emotions um, and their fears may be different than your own. You may learn something out of this um, art therapy lesson that you didn't know about your kiddos. So anxiety, I know that we said a lot of people feel anger. Um, some of you have experienced loss of a lot of things during this time. So just write down lots of things that you are feeling. You can write complete sentences, whatever you want. Some of us have been unable to see grandparents. Some of us were unable to see people that were hospitalized and then passed away. So write things on this list that represent things that have possibly caused you to lose hope or to question um, why you should be hopeful. So take some time to again make that list, have the discussion with your family and write what you would like on here. And this lesson, when I prepare my lessons, I get online and I find uh, different things and then I combine them to make some ideas. So this uh, lesson was inspired, if anybody wants to look it up, called Red Bubble Online.
Okay, now after you get all of your words, and again, I hope that that was a collaboration and you're discussing that with everyone, you should have a little container of paint. And again, some of you may not because you uh, were un unable to get one of these canvases, but you can totally do this at home on your own. So you're just gonna start and get some colors that you like. And the colors that we're painting coming in from the edge here, this represents hope. So just start putting colors that you like and let them come up to the border of that line. You can have it kind of go over. Everybody can have a little paintbrush and y'all can collectively paint together if you like. And sometimes I like to mix my colors, so I may do this yellow and cream together. And again, your dad may be painting at the same time and your mom kind of intermingling. I like the symbolism of that as a family bringing hope to the problems that they have. A joint effort there. And if you're in a small family or a family that's a little broken right now, you can still rely on God's word and pray for those people. He's still going to be with you and you're still going to be as strong and supported. So don't let it bother you if you're doing the activity alone because he is with you. And I've been pretty liberal with the application of paint. Um, I don't wanna blend it all together because I don't want it to turn into just one color. And this is very interesting. When I sketched this, I didn't notice <laughs> Artists, we look at things differently. We're always looking for images. Uh, when we paint, I think innately humans do it regardless if you're an artist or not. But I see a forehead, a nose, and a mouth that's drawn open like it's screaming over here at these words. I don't know if anybody else sees that, but I find that very in interesting because I just randomly sketch that. But it's, it's funny how you'll find God and his word in many things. That's neat. So the color, again, represents hope that is found in God's word. A lot of times you have to be careful because you'll talk to people that are your friends that maybe aren't in the same uh, place as you are in your uh, spiritual walk, and they may offer advice that is not from the Bible, and it's totally counterintuitive because it doesn't speak to what God, God's word is, so it may veer you off the path that you need to be on. So always look up in the Bible, whatever you're in search of, look that word up. That's how I do my Bible studies, and I, I go to those chapters, and I read, and I pray, and ask God to give me whatever it is he wanted me to get out of that chapter. All right, so again, these colors, that's a unified front of us bringing hope through God and God's word to overcome those things that are causing fear. So hope over fear, right? All right, at the bottom, what I would like for you to do is pick a pretty neutral color. We could just go with brown. You're just gonna streak back and forth here and I want you to look at the Bible verses that we talked about at the beginning. I'm going to give you two more I would like for you to look up. So I want your children to see you actively looking through the Bible and looking up these areas. And again, if you're doing this by yourself, you're still getting an education. You don't have to have um, those, those people with you to get something out of this lesson. But as a parent, if you are able to, I think it's important to participate in this. So I want you to look up the Bible verses that we talked about. And I would also like for you to look up Psalms chapter 146 verses 3 through 8. I would like for you to read that with your uh, family. And then I would also like for you to look up. Oh, hold on, I've lost it here. Let me go back to it. I had it marked. Romans. Give me just a moment. I'm sorry, I had it. It's chapter 12. 
somebody needs to hear this and that's why it got closed. <laughs> so you're also going to look up Romans chapter 12 and I want you to read verses 9 through 21. So if you would stop the filming, look those up, have a discussion with your family about these Bible verses and then I want you to pick either one or you can write multiple ones down here at the bottom that collectively speak to you and your family. And when you're finished, you're going to take a Sharpie and I want you to write your verses here as a reminder. And then on the back, I want you to date it and everyone sign this because this was a family activity that you did together. And put this up somewhere in the house because we all need a beacon of hope right now and reminders and we need to be reminded to turn to God's word. So those verses are very important that they're included. And remember, hope over fear. Hope over fear. Okay, so that's our uh, lesson for today. I hope that you enjoyed that and I hope that you got something out of it. And I'm praying for everyone at our church and in our town and the nation right now. And I pray for hope for all of us and love and equality and forgiveness and acceptance. Y'all have a blessed and a wonderful day.